a few decades ago, marine scientists made a surprising discovery. Life in the ocean extends deep into the subsea floor in the form of microbes. At first, scientists doubted their abundance deep in the sediment where energy and nutrients are scarce. Thanks to nearly 50 years of scientific ocean drilling, we now know that they might exist here as much as in the water column. But how deep can they thrive? And what are the conditions in the deep biosphere that ultimately limit microbial life? On September the 13th, 2016, IODP Expedition 370 set sail to drill a special site of high heat flow in the Nankai Trough. Special because here, beneath 4.8 kilometers of water, the geothermal gradient is steep enough for scientists to access a temperature horizon so high that it could prove fatal to ocean organisms. These cores will help scientists determine the depth limit of life, as well as the overall influence of temperature on microbial communities. Hyperthermophiles can survive in temperatures nearing 120 degrees Celsius. These microorganisms thrive in the energy-rich conditions of hydrothermal vents. Down in the subsea floor, however, the energy required to support cell repair is in short supply. In the hopes of tapping the bottom of the biosphere, the IODP scientists drilled down to this currently observed temperature limit of 120 degrees Celsius, 1,200 meters into the sea floor. Since IODP's last visit to this area, analytical methods have greatly improved. This work requires advanced lab spaces equipped with cutting-edge technology, which can be found at the Kochi Core Center, just a helicopter flight away. Here, shore-based scientists receive fresh core samples for in-depth microbiological investigations and conduct time-sensitive analysis using cutting-edge technologies. The microbial story can be found in the sediment. But to better characterize the thermal regime of the subsea floor at these critical depths, the scientists installed a temperature sensor string down the borehole, allowing them to continuously monitor temperature in real time. After two months out at sea, 112 cores, 13,000 samples for analysis, and temperature monitoring in full swing, the Chikyu successfully completed its mission. Now, these scientists are well on their way to finding the limits of life deep in the ocean.